rain, the water of life, creates the river of life. The river gives life to the people. You see, we have lived here for many, many years. Generations go back beyond counting. My grandmother told me stories of my great-great-grandmother. Among the Herazas of the Upper Missouri River, the extended family of Buffalo Bird Woman and her brother Wolf Chief, they were grandchildren of an important Herazza elder, keeper of a sacred medicine bundle. These are the people I come from. My grandmother sometimes would sit in the evening and look at the Missouri River. The sunsets and dust steal over the water. In the shadows, she could see again our villages with smoke curling up from the earth lodges. And in the river's roar, I could hear the yells of the warriors and the laughter of the children. It's but an old woman's dream now. But myself, I like to sit on the hill facing the east. And as the sun rises over the eastern bluffs, the sun catches and chases the shadows into the water and makes the river smile and dance the water of life, the sounds of tomorrow, the hot cottonwoods, cool with the breezes above, giving us life to our homes, our earth lodges, where in the winter time we wish for the sound of the flies and we wish for the sound of the crackling leaves under our feet, the people people of the river, the songs, the stories, the dreams, the tomorrows. <laughs>